Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. Sa ating previous video, ating umpisahang pag-aralan ang isa sa mga method to acquire precise drawing. Ito ay yung auto mode. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video nito. Okay, so sa video na ito, atin naman pag-aaralan ang tiyatawag na object snap. So, in this lesson, you learn what object snaps are, bakit ito mahalaga, at paano ito ginagamit upang maging precise ang iyong drawing. Also, you will be able to explain what object snaps are, including the difference between running object snaps and object snap overrides. You will also be able to use object snaps to select snap points in the drawing. In the following illustration, the image on the left shows a door placement that used an object snap to place the door, while the image on the right shows what the door placement looks like if you do not use an object snap. Every object you create has various selectable points that you can use to position other objects. So, every time na magka-create ka ng object, ay you are required to specify a point or location. It is critical that these points be defined accurately if you expect your drawing to be accurate. So, ano ba yung object snaps? Let's define it first. Alam natin na binubuo ng iba't ibang points ang bawat object. Ang ilan dito ay ang mga endpoint, midpoint, center point, at ang quadrant. Ang object snap ay nag-exist so we can select those points accurately. Attempting to accurately select these points without using object snaps would be very time-consuming and inaccurate. So, the following image shows three of the most basic types of objects that you can create. It's a line, a circle, and an arc. So, sa example na ito, the line has two unique snap types with three possible locations that you can select. The circle has two unique snap types with five possible locations that you can select. The arc has three unique snap types with four possible locations that you can also select. So, narito ang possible effect kapag gumamit tayo ng object snaps. In the following image, the smaller circles need to be concentric within the larger circle. And by using the center object snap, you can place the smaller circle precisely in the center of the larger circle. So, by examining each circle's coordinates, mag-verify natin na they both share the same center point. Okay? So, next. Narito naman ang possible effect kapag hindi naman tayo gumamit ng object snaps. So, in the following image, the user attempted to create the vertical line at the end point of the horizontal line without using object snaps. So, under normal viewing circumstances, akala natin na yung lines would appear to be connected correctly. 
Pero, after zooming in to the geometry, malalaman natin na yung lines are not connected at the end points. So, therefore, ito yung key points ng object snaps. So, una, using object snaps to place objects in relation to other objects in the drawing is critical for accuracy. So, second, Every object you can create contains at least one point that is selectable with an object snap. So, paano ba ma-access ang object snaps? You can access object snaps using several different methods. Running object snaps are generally set and then turned on or off, while object snap overrides represent a one-time use of the selected object snap. So, Let's elaborate these two methods. Unahin natin ang running object snaps. Okay? So, here in the drawing area, if you need to use the same object snap repeatedly, you can set it as a running object snap. Ibig sabihin, it stays on until you turn it off. For example, you might set the object snap to center if you need to connect the centers of a series of circles with a line. So, this feature increases speed and accuracy. Another feature of running object snap is that multiple object snaps can be on at the same time. So, the quickest way to turn running object snaps on or off is dito sa ating status bar. So, dito, ito yung tiyatawag natin na object snap icon. Okay? So, kapag ni-right click natin yan, so, makikita natin yung object snap settings. So, kapag kininik natin yun, lalabas itong drafting settings dialog box. Okay? So, dito, so, narito yung iba't ibang klaseng object snap modes. Okay? So, kung ayaw naman natin siyang i-right click, so, we can select also the snap modes from the shortcut menu. So, click natin itong uh, small arrow. So, narito ang ilang modes ng object snap. Okay? So, next. By using the shortcut sa keyboard natin, so, kapag tinite natin o prenest natin ang ating F3, so, may kita natin na nag-off yung ating object snap icon. So, kapag inulit natin na press ang ating F3, so, mag-on naman yan. Okay? So, ma-highlight siya. Okay. So, if auto snap is turned on, the marker appears whenever you move the cursor over a snap point. So, bilang advice, never turn all the object snap modes on at once. So, mas mahalaga na mayroon lamang na several object snaps chosen. So, such as endpoint, midpoint, and intersection. And go back to add others as needed or use the object snap override. Okay. So, pangalawa ay yung object snap override. So, the object snap override means that the snap stays in effect until you specify the next point. You are in snap override mode if you click an object snap from the shortcut menu or the object snap toolbar before selecting the specified point. So, ma-access natin itong object snap override by doing shift plus right click sa drawing window natin. Okay? So, try natin. So, dito sa ating drawing window, drawing area, so, para ma-access natin yung object snap override, uh, press natin yung shift sa keyboard natin, then right-click tayo dito. Yan. So, lalabas na itong uh, object snap override. Okay? So, take note lang na yung object snap override will cancel if you miss your mark and if you select an object snap twice before selecting your point. So, bale, narito ang ilang halimbawa ng object snaps, but take note of this first. Una, point 1, identifies the initial point used to select the object. Point 2, 
identifies the point snap to or the second peak point if it is required. Point 3. Identifies the point snap to if two peak points were required. Okay. So, narito yung mga halimbawa ng object snaps. So, una, para sa end point, snaps to the closest end point of an arc. Elliptical arc, line, multi-line, polyline, polyline segment, S-pline, region, or ray, or to the closest corner of a trace, solid or 3D face. Next, midpoint. Snaps to the midpoint of an arc, elliptical arc, line, multi-line, polyline, polyline segment, region, solid, S-pline, or X-line. So next, para sa center, snaps to the center points of circles, arcs, or ellipses. Node, snaps to a point object, dimension definition point, or dimension text origin. Next, quadrant, snaps to quadrant points on a circle, arc, or ellipse. Next, intersection, snaps to the intersection of any two of the following, arc, circle, ellipse, elliptical arc, line, multi-line, polyline, ray, region, s-line, or x-line. So next, extended intersection, snaps to the imaginary intersection of two objects that would intersect if the objects were extended along their natural paths. So take note lang na this option is not available as a running object snap. Use the intersection object snap as an override. Okay, so next, for extension, causes a temporary extension line to display when you pass the cursor over the end point of objects. So you can draw objects to and from points on the extension line. You can also use the extension object snap to find the intersection of two objects that would intersect if the objects were extended along their natural paths. So next, insertion snaps the insertion point of an attribute, a block, a shape, or text. Perpendicular snaps to a point perpendicular to an arc, circle, ellipse, elliptical arc, line, multi-line, polyline, ray, region, solid, s-line, or x-line. So for the tangent, snaps to a point on a circle or an arc that forms a line tangent to the object. Snaps to the tangent of an arc, circle, ellipse, elliptical arc, polyline, arc, segment, or s-pline. So nearest, snaps to the nearest point on an arc, circle, ellipse, elliptical arc, line, multi-line, point, polyline, ray, s-pline, or x-line. So, for the apparent intersection, snaps to the apparent intersection of two objects, arc, circle, ellipse, elliptical arc, line, multi-line, polyline, ray, s-pline, or x-line, that do not intersect in 3D space but may appear to intersect in the current view. So, next, for the parallel, draws a vector parallel to another object whenever you are prompted for the second point of a vector. So last, for the NAN, so temporarily turn off all running object snaps for the next selection. So available only as an override. Use this object snap when running object snaps are turned on. And you need to temporarily override all object snaps. Okay, so let's go to an example. Una ay sa paggamit ng running object snaps. So, the following steps are an overview of using running object snaps. So, sa status bar, okay, so right-click natin yung ating object snap icon. So, then click natin yung settings. So, lalabas itong drafting settings dialog box. So, verify natin yung sum of the object snaps 
na dapat selected. So, dito sa akin ay endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, extension, and click din natin tong uh, tangent. Okay? So, then take note da, na dapat selected din yung object snap on natin or yung F3. So, kapag hindi siya naka-mark, naka-check mark, ay click lang natin para maging magkaroon siya ng check mark. So, then, okay. So, next, sa ating home tab, so, dito sa uh, draw panel, so, click natin tong line. So, i-place natin yung cursor natin near sa kahit ang geometry dito. Okay? So, kapag nilapit natin yung cursor natin, so, mapapansin natin na uh, yung auto snap marker appears as your cursor approaches a snap point. So, ang snap point natin is yung end point. Okay? So, click natin yung snap point na yan, which is the end point. So, then, move natin yung cursor natin to the next point dito. Okay? So, as you approach a snap point, okay, so, the auto snap marker appears near the cursor. So, yung snap point na yun is also the end point para sa second object na ito, which is here. Okay? So, pero, pwede rin natin ma-select yung other uh, other snap point along this line. Okay? So, select lang natin. Pili lang natin yung uh, other snap points. So, click natin tong nearest. Okay? So, kapag nilapit na natin yung ating cursor di sa next object natin, so, mapansin natin na may lalabas na auto snap point. Okay? So, then click natin dyan. Okay? So, mapapansin natin na mabilis natin na select yung mga object natin by using the uh, object snap. So, yung object snap na yun ay yung tinatawag natin na running object snaps. So, if you are using a 3-button mouse or a wheel mouse, you can set the default behavior for the middle button or wheel to activate the object snap shortcut menu. Do this by setting the M button pan system variable to 0. So, try natin. Para magamit natin yung middle wheel natin, so, type natin M button pan. Then, press enter. So, in bis na 1, so, type natin ay 0. Then, press enter ulit. So, by pressing the wheel sa mouse natin, so, lalabas yung shortcut menu. Okay? So, kapag gusto natin ibalik yung sa dati, so, type ulit natin M button pan. Press enter. Then, in bis na 0, activate natin as 1. Press enter ulit. So, kapag prenes natin yung wheel natin, so, babalik na siya sa dati niyang uh, naka-active. Okay? Which is, sa akin, is yung pan. Okay. So, next. The following steps are an overview of how to use the object snap override. So, una, uh, click natin tong line. Ayan. Tapos, uh, when the software prompts you to select a point, select an object snap from the shortcut menu. Then, position your cursor near the object containing the snap point. So, kapag dito, so kapag nilapit natin itong cursor natin, so, may click natin yung isang uh, object snap. So, ito yung center. So, lalabas yung auto snap marker dito. Okay? So, which is yung circle na auto snap. So, indicating na yung snap point nga natin is the circle. So, select natin yung point na yan. Then, press natin yung shift sa keyboard natin. Then, right click tayo. Yan. So, dito, lalabas yung different snap mode. Okay? 
So, click natin tong perpendicular. So, for this example lang ha. So, click natin tong perpendicular. Yan. So, move your cursor to the text object. Yan. So, the auto snap marker appears next to the snap point, which is yung itsurang perpendicular. Okay? So, next. Para naman ma-inform tayo when object snaps are active, you can use what we call auto snap aperture box. So, by default, this option is turned off. So, when any portion of the aperture box touches an object with a valid snap point, the auto snap marker appears, indicating a selectable snap point. So, the following image shows this auto snap aperture box. So, para ma-access natin ito, so, dito sa ating status bar, along dito sa ating object snap icon, so, kapag na-right-click natin yan, punta tayo sa object snap settings, then, lalabas itong drafting settings. Then, dito, click natin itong options. So, yan. So, dito, under the auto snap settings, I-check lang natin o lagyan natin ng check mark itong display auto snap aperture box. Yan. So under naman ng uh, aperture size, adjust natin yung aperture size by dragging the slider left or right. So kung gusto mong palakihin, so puta ka sa right. So mapapansin natin na lumaki yung size ng aperture natin. So, kung gusto mo naman mas maliit dyan, so, punta ka lang sa left. So, para mas maliit yung aperture box natin. Okay? So, for me, so, ipunta ko lang siya sa middle o sa center. So, para hindi ganun kalaki o hindi ganun kaliit yung uh, size ng aperture box natin. Okay? So, kapag in-apply natin yan, then press OK. So, click OK. Then, OK ulit dito. So, para malaman natin kung activated na yung ating aperture, so, click natin yung line. So, yan. Mapapansin natin, yung cursor natin is nagkaroon na siya ng aperture box. Okay? So, kapag nilapit natin siya sa uh, isang snap point natin, which is this, in this corner, okay? So, mas mabilis na natin ma-determine yung uh, snap point. Kasi, once na uh, lumapit yung ating aperture dyan so papansin natin na magkakaroon na siya ng uh, mark okay so which is indicating na is the corner ng ating snap mode or the end point okay so that's all so dito na nagtatapos ang discussion natin kung paano gamitin ang o snap or object snap Sa next video, ating pagpapatuloy ang iba pang method sa pag-acquire ng precise drawing. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, so huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So maraming salamat!